Thank you. Mr Finch, please. While I believe it's an obvious right that uh, women's health issues are a concern for us all globally, I also believe it's the right of every nation to spend its taxpayers' money in the way it sees fit. The fact of the matter is, this is a decision for the government and people of the United States of America. And to call it a war on feminism, as someone did, is hyperbole and just demeans your arguments. We must look back in history and acknowledge that this legislation is a political football, even in the United States. Its origins go back as far as the Reagan administration. It's been brought in and rescinded by previous administrations as the Republican and Democratic fortunes have waxed and waned. Now, the powerful religious factions who support this in the United States have a precise analogue here in Europe, where the Catholic Church strongly opposed your own Sandbeck report. Uh, issues of this kind are heavily emotive, and each person must reach into their own moral core to decide how to speak and vote. In the end, I believe it is not for the European Parliament to tell the American government what to do. You would not be pleased if the positions were reversed. So I would like you to urge you to consider this point. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Mr. Finch. Would you accept the blue card? Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, yes, thank you, Chair. Um, just to, uh, to, to clarify one misunderstanding, we are not actually debating the US budget here. We are debating the EU budget. And we may deplore what the, the United States have decided, but we cannot change it. But if you say that every state or entity, in this case, when we're talking about the EU budget, has the right to set its own priorities and decide on its own budget, then I suspect that I will, or I count on you being on my side when we are going to table amendments to raise the budget for the issues we're discussing today. Thank you. Um, dear colleague, uh, the fact is, it's entirely up to the EU how it spends its budget. As you are aware, doubtless, I'm not in favour of the EU having a budget. But I would be greatly in favour of individual nations, and I don't believe this is a nation, doing, the, doing so, if that answers your question. 